Soul goes beyond what most culture tells us to do and reminds us to live our lives simply. If soul was enjoyable for you in every way, then soul too will be a worthwhile experience. Joe Gardner is an aspiring jazz musician who is currently working in New York City as a band teacher. When a dream job finally comes his way, Joe accidentally falls down a manhole, which causes his soul to be separated from his body. Joe pretends to be a mentor to a disobedient soul named 22. Morganson will be matched with soul number 22. Oh, we're going to get into this now. Who refuses to get a life like the other souls in order to return and prevent going to the great beyond. Joe plans to return to his body using Earth Pass, which 22 has. Despite his efforts to find something 22 is passionate about, Joe finds it pointless when she remains uninterested. Since Joe is still alive on Earth, 22 then leads him to a soul guide named Moonwind. However, Joe's soul must pass through this zone, a place where passionate individuals on Earth can connect with their souls in the physical and spiritual realms. When Joe finds his body, he accidentally brings 22 to Earth, which forces her to enter his body while he's stuck inside a therapy cat named Mr. Mittens. While Joe tries to convince Moonwind to put him back, 22 begins to see the world through Joe's perspective and discovers joy in the little things. 22 rejects to give up his body as Moonwind gets ready to make Joe normal again. A soul counter named Terry noticed that the soul count was incorrect and sent them back to the great beyond. Although 22's Earth Pass batch has been completed, Joe claims that it's invalid because she carried out all of her actions using his body. She hands him the pass to go back to Earth after being hurt. He performs his gig, but he doesn't feel as satisfied as he had hoped. He travels through the zone to the great before and then seeks out 22 who have turned into a lost soul. So, what do you think you'll do? How are you going to spend your life? I'm not sure. After getting through to her, Joe assists her in traveling to Earth so that she can have her own body. As Joe prepares to go to the great beyond, one of the soul guides, Jerry A, notes that she and the other Jerrys were impressed by Joe's actions and the fact that he convinced 22 to live. In exchange for getting his body back, Joe promised to live life to the fullest. Each year, Pixar usually releases one new movie. There are currently a number of films scheduled for release in the near future, including Lightyear, Turning Red, and Luca. Therefore, it's extremely unlikely that Soul 2 will be produced and released in the following three years. Instead, based on at least in part on their track record of franchise sequels, it appears most likely that Disney and Pixar would aim for 2025 as a tentative premiere date. For instance, Toy Story 4 arrived nearly 10 years after the third franchise arrival, and the 2017 film Cars 3 was released six years after its original. Disney and Pixar may prioritize Soul 2 for a 2025 release, give or take a year, as the film industry continues to adapt to new release models. The cast of Soul is quite large, and we expect that the majority of them will return. The main character, Joe Gardner, is played by Jamie Foxx. He works as a teacher and is a jazz music enthusiast. His soul is separated from his body after an accident, but he eventually travels to the great before, where he meets 22, a lost soul. This character is voiced by Tina Fey, except Felicia Rashad to reprise her role as Joe's mother, Liba, in a supporting role who disapproves of his music, along with Richard Ayoade and Alice Braga as the soul counselors known as Jerry and Questlove plays Curly. In addition to this, it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Let's not forget David Dix who voiced the character of Joe's enemy and the character of Dorothea Williams, a prestigious jazz musician voiced by Angela Bassett among others. Hang on, hang on. What are y'all laughing at? So Connie got a little lost in it. That's a good thing. Joe Gardner, the main character of Soul, is shown in the third act just as he has accomplished all of his goals. He has returned to Earth after scorning 22 by insisting that any purpose she found was simply because of him, performed a successful show with the Dorothea Williams Quartet, and earned the right to perform with them the following day, and the day after that, and so on. He believes the gig would be the solution to his life's dilemma, but he still feels empty. He believes he has missed the point. By that, it's possible that Soul 2 will continue with the story now that he's back on Earth and show us how his days go by. And what will he do with the rest of his life? It's a major challenge and up until recently, Jamie Foxx's character Joe Gardner believed he knew the solution. He planned to enter the music business by playing jazz professionally, specifically as the pianist for Dorothea Williams' Jazz Quartet. However, a well-intentioned Jerry asks him the same question once more as he stands there on the ramp leading to the great beyond and looks at a second chance to return to Earth. Joe wasn't sure of the answer for the first time, possibly since he was a young child. I don't know, but I'm gonna live every moment of it, he says simply. 
Following that, we witness Joe, who has been brought back from the dead, leave his house and start to observe his surroundings. So what does he do after that? While Soul enjoys the hijinks of putting Joe in the body of a cat and 22 accidentally learns to talk smack at Joe's neighborhood barbershop, those are not the reasons 22 decides to live. Well, not entirely. When Joe criticizes 22, claiming that she never found her purpose and that the only spark of life she felt was his, he seems to be suggesting that they are. But to believe that a spark, a feeling of inspiration experienced while playing jazz, was his reason for existing is wrong. Joe's inspiration makes his life worthwhile. But it's not the only purpose of his existence, which may help to explain why he's more frustrated with his life, his mother, and his part-time job as an elementary school teacher. He gives 22 the Earth Badge and sends her off to live her life as he prepares for the great beyond, having used this realization to free her from the prison of self-doubt. Jerry offers him a second chance at life after learning about his selfless deed, and he vows to make the most of it by earning a living each day. He realizes this with the help of 22, who must change her approach as well. At the beginning of the film, she believes that living on Earth is pointless and not worth the trouble. But as she experiences Joe's passionate view of the world, her vitality emerges and she, like Joe, decides to live. Because of how Soul ended, a sequel would probably follow 22 as she starts a new life on Earth. However, Disney and Pixar are likely to remain maintaining the story's attention on African-American characters. They might undoubtedly be essential in that scenario, but it seems like a new character would be added to round out the current Joe-focused plot. There are many possibilities of what can happen with both of them. Maybe they'll fall in love and get married, even have kids, we can imagine them living a normal and happy life. 22 as a singer, Joe will continue with his jazz career and maybe they'll go on a tour together around the world. Maybe Soul 2 will be focused only on 22, who knows? Besides that, we assume that the backstory of 22 or another soul like hers will be thoroughly explored. The story would also make more sense if the action took place a few years in the future. Joe's jazz career could also be better understood in this way. The second movie might just be about you smashing that subscribe button and notification bell, so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No, but seriously, Soul 2 might show us how is life after all of your hopes and dreams come true if the first movie is about never giving up on your dreams. I'll go with you. You know you can't do that. I know, but I'll go as far as I can. But it's undeniable that Joe has learned the importance of not taking life for granted. Instead of only taking advantage of the brief moments when his spark soars, he can now enjoy the entire day. See you in the next video.